Hi you all, fantastic to sort of see you. Hopefully we'll all do eventually. Uh, what's my name? Is it Gary? Yes it is, brilliant. And we're talking about junk percussion really. It's not really junk, in fact, you're what you'll pull out of a bin, but the things that you'll find in your house. And we're gonna try and work on a, a piece eventually. But I just want you to have fun at the moment, going around searching, looking, wondering what these things can do and how you can make sound for them. And I'm going to give you some sort of ideas to start off with the things that I found in my house. So I bought some things in, I'm going to show you some bits and pieces that I've got. First of all, I need to get these in and out of the house and into the back garden. Just sets the keys really. And off Just shake them together, they're really nice. They're really nice, I love keys. Um, the classics, last one. Oh, they bought me that one. <laughs> Water, wooden spoon. So that's the same. A bit different. If I hit it with something different. Spatula. You can ring these. And of course you've got different sizes. You might have really big ones, I don't know. But look at this. Water that one as well. All sorts of things with these. You can also put water in them and make them sound a bit odd. And I just happen to have a glass of water with me. So, put it in there, and just see if it changes it. It bends that note. I'll put it back in there, and we'll, we'll play around with them a little bit more later on. Um, I just want to go around and show you ideas about what you can do. Ice bucket. No, ice tray. It's a funny shape. Bucket. Ice tray. Are your fingers? The other side. A bit deeper. Of course you can get your wooden spoon on this. Wow, I love that. Smashing. Nuts. Well, these are tiger nuts in here. There are a lot of them in here because I don't really like them. But it's like gravel or shaker. I've got some pasta. Shaker. Now, I don't expect you to shake it exactly like that, but you can see there's nuts there, there's pasta there, but if I change that for other bits and pieces, a different size things, maybe plastic containers, maybe water bottles with rice in, you get completely different sounds. So experiment as well when you're playing around. And um, when we go to the seaside now again, we pick up Shells. You see these shells? You see a handful of shells here. And I like to hope that when you in my hand it changes the tone. And that's what you want to do with anything you find and play. Try and play around with the way you're holding it and touching it or where you're touching it. For example, this thing here is a colander. So I've got my pasta in that when I'm cooking it. If I hold the handle, it's quite dead. Nice though. If I put it on the floor and take my away um, on the table. Now for me, it's like a clock. What's them saucepans? Now 
Now, there's a bit of rhythm there. I don't really mind to add a little bit of rhythm here and there because when you put these sounds together later on, we can add little bits of touches like that in there. But at the moment, I just want you to play around with the idea of researching, looking and finding sound, really. And I'll quickly go through some through now. I've got this rattle, some of you might have, but you might have in the house. I've got a pen holder, which is tin. If I put it on my chest. Raise your eyebrows. It's a must do. And you've got, you know, what you paint with. Sorts of things. Money box. I bet your money boxes are full up. Pencils in a jar. A smaller jar with some makeup in my daughter's makeup, not mine. A little Guero. Face goes a bit weird, man. <laughs> Scary. Then we got an empty lemonade thing. Two plastic cups, the classic. Now, is that a horse? It's something like that, isn't it? Now, these aren't instruments, these are broken toys, but I'm sure you've got some broken toys around the house or some little kiddie toys. Maybe you've got a younger brother or sister, or you've kept your toys from way beyond and you can play with them. And this is this was originally a paint maker. You might have some things like that. You might have a little baby tambourine. You might have an old rain stick somewhere. You might have a classic toy drum. And you might have one of those nighties, what they call a coin ball thing. That's how good it is. Yeah, these things I've just found around the house. What else is there I want to show you? Oh, some trays, some trays, food trays. This, but for me, gongs. They've got really good eyes. So you've got them. I used to have a bike, so I've got a pump. I like the pump. Yeah, got some wind, got some air there, some bits and pieces. What else we got? Oh yeah. Got me, we've got our Amy clothes up. Got our some clothes up. So I've got this. It's always good for having a bang about. And then you've got this. So I wanted to give you as many ideas as possible that you can play around with, okay? As many ideas as possible. Um, have fun, have a look around, 
really look everywhere and the most of the things that you think, I can't make a sound out of that. I bet you you can. Okay, so give it a go. Find out what it is, things you like. Don't worry too much about making a rhythm thing yet. You just want to hear these sounds. But have some fun for now and uh, I'll see you again. Bye-bye.